Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sly Jesse here and today we're taking a look at the missing sound plugin scam found mainly by players attempting to scam you by getting you to join their TeamSpeak 3 server. This scam is relatively new compared to other scams and has had a huge boost in popularity after it was brought to the public eye just over 4 months ago. Now how this scam works is that you meet someone online through Steam or a game like Counter-Strike Global Offensive and they want you to join their TeamSpeak 3 server. So, while you're connecting to their server, you know, you're thinking you're going to play some games with them, trade, chat, you know, whatever. I just want to mention now that TeamSpeak 3 is a trusted pro, like you can use TeamSpeak 3. It's not uncommon for tons and tons of people in Counter-Strike to actually own TeamSpeak 3. That, that's why this scam is uh, used, because lots of people have TeamSpeak 3 installed already. Some of the popular reasons why people may get you to join their server are, you know, we need an extra play for this game, we know, we've paid keys for it and there's only one game and if we win, you know, you, we'll give you four keys, you don't have to give us anything. That one I've heard a few times and also just they want to trade but they want to stay in their TeamSpeak 3 server where their friends are. So you open up TeamSpeak 3, you enter in the IP address, the password if they give you one and what happens is it'll connect you for a split second and then kick you out straight away opening up a text box which tells you something like error, missing required TeamSpeak 3 sound plugin and then it's got a link to install it. Now it may say something different, it really depends on what the admin has set as the admin of the server actually is the one that sets this message there. Now up to this point you are safe. Though once you click that link you don't know where it will take you. You could be lucky and it will take you to a download page where you could just click the cancel download button or if you're very unlikely, <laughs> if you're very unlucky I should say which is very unlikely, it will have an exploit there which may get into your system somehow you know for Java or something but you don't usually have to worry about that although I wouldn't take my chances I can tell you that. So. If you think that you know it is a sound plugin and you do download it and install it, it may add a keylogger, remote administration tool, or something similar to your system, which means when you log into something, it copies and it pastes that to the scammer, which means whenever you log into your Steam account, it'll be sent to the scammer, and it also includes things like Facebook, email, online games, and even your bank account. So just think, as soon as they got your email, they most likely have all your accounts linked to that email anyway. So you need to really watch out. So how can you protect yourself? Basically, do not ever download anything you're not 100% sure of. And don't rely on your antivirus, as it doesn't detect new viruses that are popping up all the time. It will eventually. It's just got to catch the virus first, because it's, it's like a cat and mouse game, you know? As soon as the mouse pops up, the cat's got to chase it. And once the cat has it, it's got to find a new mouse and it chases that new mice. <laughs> That's a really dumb ver dumbed down version of it anyway. So with that in mind, don't throw away your antivirus yet because, you know, <laughs> you need to keep it updated at all times. Make sure you stay on top of your protection. I re recommend AVG3 or Malware Bytes together as they're both free and they work great together. Make sure you also have Steam Guard on your account, preferably with a mobile number. This can be found by opening up Steam, going to the Steam button on the top left hand corner, selecting settings and press the manage Steam Guard account security dot 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 button. Well, that's all for me guys. Remember to like, comment with what scams you know and what ones you want me to cover and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.